Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here. I hope you're happy, healthy and well. As you can see, I'm sitting on the floor here of my other room. I spent the entire day yesterday cleaning the house top to bottom and I came across this magazine, a New Humanist, which I bought in 2020 but haven't read as yet, which links to the book that I want to quickly review today. It is a very short book and it is the book by Kurt Vonnegut, um, God Bless You, Dr. Kevorkian. You can see it's a very short book. It's 93 pages and it's very quite readable. And I read this book over breakfast yesterday. I took over an hour to eat my porridge and have my cup of coffee while perusing and reading this book in slow time. It was an hour and a half uh, truly well spent um, and enjoyable and it made me smile and have a bit of a chuckle as well. So what is this book about? Now Kurt was had died in 2007 and this book was published in 2010 and it was his last um, piece of work and what he did was he wrote these for a particular radio station and these were more like interludes that go between programs so they're very short pieces that were meant to kind of um, uh, not introduce the next program they weren't an ad of any sort but they were just kind of snippets that were amusing and in between programs. Now, what Kurt did here was he visits Dr. Kevorkian, who is the euthanasia scientist, and he gets the injection and goes through the blue tunnel of light that uh, people claim they go through when they die. <clears throat> we don't know if that's real or not. Um, there's no scientific evidence for such to prove this. But anyway, regardless of what you believe they go through the, he goes through the tunnel of light to heaven and we find out that there is no hell it's only just heaven and he meets all these uh historical figures well-known figures scientists playwrights um, world leaders and so forth he there's on page 93 there's a whole list of them now some of the people I didn't know, but the ones I knew were most amusing. So the ones I liked was obviously William Shakespeare, Adolf Hitler, uh, Isaac Newton, Asimov. There was Burnham Burnham, which I was really surprised that um, the Tasmanian the indigenous community, the Aboriginal community and the genocide that happened there many years ago is in this book. Usually it's kind of a forgotten aspect of history, unfortunately, and I'm so glad that Kurt brings it up here. Uh, there are others like um, Mary Shelley as well. Uh, so look, they're, they're amusing when he goes and meets them. So for example, he meets Shakespeare and he asks him if it was true, whether he had these relationships with other men or, we know whether it was true whether he wrote his own plays and works and Shakespeare's being cagey and kind of sends him off on his way uh, and meanwhile he meets Adolf Hitler and Adolf Hitler laments the fact that he doesn't have kind of like an epitaph at the United Nations and if he did have um, like a gravestone or an epitaph on it would have written Entschuldigenzi or pardon me or excuse me in German. So kind of like these, it has these amusing little thoughts about death. And the whole lesson here is that he asks all these famous people about what they would have done um, or, you know, what stands out for them in their life now that they now that they're dead and ultimately the book is really about the fact that there are more important things in life and not to take ourselves uh, so seriously the big lesson for me was the fact that he calls himself a humanist here and I hadn't heard of that term in the more um, I read about it, I thought to myself, you know, he's actually right. A humanist, he, he basically um, said that someone of good citizenship 
and common decency. A humanist are content to serve as well as they can, with which they have some familiarity, which is their communities. Um, it's not about religion. It's not about your God versus my God. It's not about um, what you believe in what higher beings. It's how you kind of look at yourself in the mirror every morning when you get up and you actually think, you know what? I have done good. I have done my best. I have not hurt anyone. I have uh, lived a moral and ethical life and I'm a fairly decent human being. And I actually prescribe to that religion, if we could say that humanism is a religion. So very interesting that soon after I found the new humanist uh, magazine lurking around in just tons of books and magazines that are stacked in this entire house in all sorts of corners. So I'm surprised why I bought the magazine and didn't even read it or find it until, what are we now? I bought it in 2020. So winter 2020 at the height of COVID. And I've only just found it now two years later after reading this book coincidences anyway that's it for me thank you for listening thank you for watching bye for now